Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Sal Mahajan. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look into Amazon Lex. So let's dive right into the video. So what is Amazon Lex? Amazon Lex is a fully managed conversational interface for your applications. So it basically adds a chatbot functionality to your applications. And to give you some more examples, Amazon Lex is the same technology that is used behind Alexa. So Alexa is basically a chatbot. It is a voice chatbot wherein you ask Alexa something or you give it a couple of instructions and it responds to your instructions. So Amazon Lex is that same technology that Alexa use and Amazon Alex allows you to add, um, you know, um, chatbots to your applications. Now these could be voice related chatbots or they could also be conversational. That is, you could, they could be text related chatbots. A couple, of, a couple of use cases where you would use Amazon Lex is you want to have customer support, wherein initially the user is interacting with, you know, a chatbot that is providing them support or help. And if the chatbot is unable to help the user, then we forward them to um, a, a real human being. And a chatbot could also be used in sales and marketing. So this was a quick overview related to what Amazon Lex is. Now let's dive into a demo on the AWS console so you guys can get a hands-on experience with how to use Amazon Lex. Okay guys, as you can see, I am on the AWS console and we can see we're on the Amazon Lex uh, page. So you have a quick how it works when your step one is your script conversation, your step two is where you design your bot, and finally step three is where you build your bot. So we're gonna quickly scroll, scroll all the way up and we are going to click on create bot. Now you have two creation methods, either you can go with generative AI or you can go with traditional. Again, uh, we are not gonna go with generative AI because you should have Amazon Bedrock set up for using this specific use case, but we are gonna go with creating a traditional chat bot. Now you have three options wherein you can create a blank bot or you can start with an example or you can start with transcripts. For example, if you have any transcripts, you can upload them and you can get started with that. For this use case, we're gonna go ahead and click on start with an example. You are basically going to have three options. One is book trip, make appointment and order flowers, which is gonna stick with the basic, um, you know, uh, example bot that is we would like to book a trip and you can see over here these are all of the languages in which the chat bot will be supported and it shows you basically a screenshot on how it is going to look like we're gonna go ahead and give our bot name as you know book trip the same thing we don't want to give any description now when it comes to IAM permissions you can either use an existing role or you can create a role with the basic Amazon Lex permissions and we are going to go with create a basic um, you know Amazon role with Lex permissions we're going to scroll down now is your bot subject to COPA that is children's online privacy act I'm going to quickly go ahead and say no and your idle timeout so what would your uh, typical ideal timeout be you can see by default it's five minutes but it can vary anywhere between one minute to 1448 minutes which is basically 24 hours you can quickly you can quickly go ahead and click on advanced settings and you can see you can add some tags to your bot but we're just going to go ahead and click on next hopefully we entered everything correctly and there you go now coming to step two of the bot creation we should add a language to the bot so in which language would you like the bot to converse with again i'm going to stick with english i'm going to leave the description um you know optional you can choose um voice interaction so if you want to add text to speech to your bot to speak through voice then you can add that of course you can choose whatever you are looking to choose from and you can also run a sample over here so i'm going to quickly show you guys how does this sample sound like hello my name is danielle let me know how i can assist you and that is basically how the uh, bot sounds like. Of course, you have a lot of options that you can choose from a lot and a lot, a lot. Again, you can also choose an option none. This is only a text-based application. We're gonna go with that. And if you wanna add more languages to your bot, for example, you wanna add um, you know, French or Hindi or any other language, you can do that too. I'm gonna stick with English and we're gonna click on done. And you can see that it is adding our language to the bot. And there we go, we have successfully created our bot that is called Book Trip. 
Now you can see that we have successfully created our bot and we are in our bot's intent page. So intent is basically, um, it, it, it represents an action that the user wants to um, request. So for example, you want to book a hotel. So book hotel is one intent that you have wherein when the bot figures out that the user wants to book an hotel, they follow a certain um, steps. So as you can see, we have intent details. Our intent name is book hotel. The description is that intent to book a, a book a hotel on stay booker. When you scroll down, you will see sample utterance. For example, the user may say book a hotel or the user may say, I want to make a hotel reservation or the user may say, I want to book a hotel, um, you know, or the user may say he, the a user wants to book a three night stay in um, New York or London or anything like that. So for example, you can keep adding utterances over here according to what the user would say. So when the chat bot is able to see that, oh, the user has uttered something that I know that relates to a booking of a hotel. So that it starts its process to book a hotel. Then you can see that, you know, um, your initial response that you provide to the user, you have again slots that you can have, for example, you want to ask the user, like if the user said that, okay, um, I would like to book a hotel. You can ask the user, what would your location like to be? What would the check-in date be? How many nights, any room type preferences that they have? Assuming that the user has not, you know, uh, mentioned already mentioned all of that. And of course, you confirm all of the details from the user. Once the user says, yep, I am all good, you fulfill the order that is you book that hotel for them. And then again, you just close your response. So this is a very basic, um, you know, intent that we have over here wherein we are trying to book a hotel. Um, you know, as you can see, it says not built and unsaved. We're gonna quickly click on build and it is currently building in progress. Uh, it's building for our English bot. As you can see, we have successfully built our English language for the bot. Let's go ahead and click on test. Let's say I want to book a hotel. Now you see the bot was able to pick up that you want to book a hotel. It's asking you what city would you like to be staying in? Let's say I want to stay in New York. Um, it says, okay, what day do you want to check in? Um, let's say, for example, I want to check in on the 15th of October. And how many nights will you be staying? Let's say I want to stay for four nights. It's awesome. It's asking what room type. Would you like a queen, king, or deluxe? Um, we're going to stick with the queen. And it says, okay, so it says that you, uh, I have you down for four nights. That is, you want to book the hotel for four nights in New York starting on the uh, 15th of October, 2024. Shall I book this uh, reservation? As you can see over here in our intent, first, it was able to pick up our utterance that you want to book a hotel or you want to make a reservation. And then it asks us for questions because of course, when you book a hotel, you need those questions. And finally, once we provide the response, we have the confirmation section wherein, <coughs> It uh, confirms with us and I will basically respond, yes, everything looks good. And there you go. Your intent book hotel is fulfilled, which basically means the, um, you know, uh, bot has successfully booked an hotel. Now you can see the fulfillment over here is not active right now because of course we are not really booking a hotel. But if you are really looking to perform some action, you can basically uh, turn this to active and you can have a Lambda function which is connected to your fulfillment of this bot to fulfill the, requ uh, the user's request. So this was a very basic example on what you know Amazon Lex is. How can you create an Amazon Lex bot, be it a voice bot or also a chat bot? What are intents and what's uh, the process flow related to an intent? And how does this basically work? Uh, so now I will quickly show you guys how you can delete this bot. Again, of course, I do not want you guys to be charged for this bot. So you guys can see we have one bot available. I'm gonna go ahead and click on actions and click on delete and click on delete bot. Now this will take a couple of seconds and our bot should, there we go. Our bot is successfully deleted. So now you will not be charged. So that's pretty much about it on how can you delete this bot. 
so i hope you guys did like this video if you did please make sure to leave a like do subscribe and do comment if there are any other topics out there that you guys would like me to cover i hope you guys have a great day ahead see ya take care bye bye